I want to show y'all this book and this book just tell you how to be spiritually in tune with growing your food and how these things bending down and being at service to the earth actually raises your vibratory resonant frequency and connects you uh, back to the one. You know what I'm saying? It's called singularity, where it talks about there is no separation of degrees by anybody. We are all one consciousness experiencing itself in seven billion different entities and how yeah. forming and growing your own food and talking to your soil, hugging trees, grounding out and being in true nature, uh, how it raises your frequency and keeps you at a high vibratory rate. I talked about this to you in one of our interviews, nature deficiency. Or Remember that? Yeah, you know, yeah. Nature deficiency order is a sickness. Mm -hmm. It's a clinical sickness that have been actually diagnosed by many MDs where if you are away from nature too long, that it, your immune system or what I call your lymphatic system can become weak and your macrophages, your neutrophils, your basophils, your monophils, your lymphocytes, your monocytes. And, uh, and your eosinophils will actually lower themselves in their account and won't rise themselves to help defend the body against different types of bacterial forms or pleomorphic organ organisms because you haven't been in nature uh, in a while. And how people were going through certain types of psychological traumas, they was having certain different types of suicidal thoughts because they're away from nature too long. So what happened was they did an experiment where a bus came and picked up like 70 people and they took them camping on nature grounds for two weeks and yeah. their bodies got better. They suicidal yeah. thoughts left. They serotonin and their actual uh, dopamine endorphins were heightened and they were yeah. happier all by being in nature. So nature deficiency is a very, very true and real thing. We need to be in nature. There's another scientific article that speaks about how your brain sends off different types of hormones and melanin neurotransmitter and produces different type of dopamine reaction uh, reactions and make you happier just by listening. Check this out, Rich. Just by listening to natural water. Mm. Yeah, and that's, that's the reason why when it rains, you get yeah, on. It's so pick, yeah. Oh, it rains, when it rains, Rain when it rains, sexual chemicals, dopamine, uh, not only dopamine, but oxytocin can be released and it makes you horny. That's why most people love to make love in the rain. When you want to cuddle, you right. When it rains outside, my girl be like, We be yeah. like, listen in the bed. Oh, yeah. sunlight, <laughs> sunlight, 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 it makes you happy. You see what I'm saying? So, yes. this shows you know that natural elements in nature has a force and change on your actual oh, orphans and on the hormone exchanges that go on in your physical structure. So we are a part of these natural elements and just always keep this in mind, family. This is a simulation, even in its natural state, it was created. If it was created, that means it's a stimulation, whether we say it was created by higher beings or not. If it haven't forever been, and something had to create it, it's a form of simulation. You can recreate these things yourself, family. And we are getting very, very promising results. The diagnostic sheets does not lie. We have tens of thousands of these things where people are coming in sick. People are coming in with tumor masses. And these things are going away. Not saying that I'm not taking the credit for healing. Only thing yeah. I'm taking credit for is creating another simulation to help you facilitate your healing. But you can create these things in your own household and create these relationships within your own social structure to bring actually a physical, spiritual and mental and emotional change in a positive way on your body. Hey, Yaki. Um, oh, let me write this down. Um, with the soil, I, I know women and men, we have different electrical magnetic yeah. natures. Men are electrical, true? women are magnetic. So and that so, so Yaki, oh, magnetic, right? So so Yaki, in terms of uh, the soil, because it doesn't have what it needs, and we're giving it to it through our love, which is the main ingredient. Does it matter if a man or, is, is is it better if a woman does it, man does it? What's more beneficial for the soil for our food that's growing we, we need, in the we darkness? Need both. We need both. Uh, okay. So man and woman, when man and woman come together, that creates God. You yes. see that when man and woman comes together, that creates God because a part of man and woman coming together, we create new light. Women so, are magnetic. Women are magnetic, which is negatively charged. See, so a woman is naturally in her natural holistic state. She's an electron donor. Yeah. Men are electrical. In our natural holistic state, we are electron stillers. 
That's why yeah. in, in a natural sense, a man chases after the woman and try to get the cookie from the woman. You, yes. and, but you see the road and switch where the women chasing man now. That is unnatural. Usually right. the woman have that man gravitate towards her because mm. she's magnetic. She pulls through her frequency. You see that? And then the man catches the signal and say, oh, hell, I want to be an electron still. I need some of that electron. So let me go and neutralize myself by taking a part of that particle. So when you when you look at it, when they come together, that's what create life. So I think that man, woman and child needs to be in the soil. That's what's going to make the soil grow. Because if you look back in the day, the whole family grew the food. See that? See, the man provided the seed. The whole yeah. family grew the soup food. The man brought that food into the house. The woman turned that, that food that he provided into a meal, and then the child got to eat that substance from that union. And that's what we're missing now. I think the further that we understand biochemistry, we understand human biology, we understand the actual nature and the role of a family, the, the husband, the wife, and the child. Mm, mm, mm. Do you think grounding... Uh, we talk about grounding. We talk about let's use grounding as an example for, you know, how with sex we are, you know, creating a certain current. We're creating a certain energy. Uh, let's talk about grounding. When we ground, we stand on the ground. We're creating a certain energy, a certain current. Do you think that grounding will be much more powerful with a man and a woman? Let's say a man and a woman holding hands grounding than it would with one person. Like, you know, how somebody just masturbates by themselves. They're able to generate a certain energy and, 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 and come. But do you think the ultimate form of grounding is with a man and a woman, uh, Yaki? Do you, I mean, you, you can do that because that's because you're creating a closed circuit at that time. If me and a woman, and I like yeah. butt naked grounding, it's very intimate with your significant other. Going into nature, yeah. completely naked. And y'all yeah. can hug each other and stand on the ground or y'all can hold hands because you're creating a closed circuit. So first yeah. y'all have to do it apart. You know, y'all okay. can hold hands, but leave y'all, leave, she will leave her left hand. Well, she's supposed to be on the right protective side of the man. So she will leave her right hand open and her mm -hmm. left hand will hold the right hand of the man and he'll leave his left hand open. And then they will stand together on the ground. That way the circuit is open. That way you can all the electrons in the body and then you can dissipate and get rid of all of the protons and then after you do that for about 20 minutes y'all hug each other skin to skin you know what i'm saying for y'all microbes can share and that's the whole purpose of sex sex is a spiritual awakening process it's very very sacred and that's how you reach cosmic orgasms you know what i'm saying but it's it's very deep on another level too because your your bacteria portfolio get to know each other when you kiss your significant other if you kiss anybody you share 80 million different microbiota yeah. with each other the moment that you kiss somebody 